Meet the Mets, meet the Mets. Step right up and greet the Mets. Bring your kiddies, bring your wife. Guaranteed to have the time of your life. Because the Mets are really sucking the ball. Knocking those home runs over the wall. East side, west side. Everybody's coming down to meet the M-E-T-S Mets of New York Town. Oh, the butcher and the baker and the people on the streets. Where do they go? To meet the Mets. Oh, they're hollering and cheering and they're jumping in their seats. Where do they go? To meet the Mets. All the fans are true to the orange and blue. So hurry up and come on down. Cause we got ourselves a ball from the Mets of New York Town. Step right up and greet the Mets. Bring your kiddies, bring your wife. Guaranteed to have the time of your life. Because the Mets are really sucking the ball. Knocking those home runs over the wall. East side, west side. Everybody's coming down to meet the Yo, <laughs> let's go. Oh my God, bro. Okay, Escobar, that was really dope. Like, love that signing. Canna, sign me up. Marte, oh my goodness, bro. It only took how long after the last live stream? Oh my God. Wow, this is hitting, this is hitting different right now, folks. My goodness gracious, we have so much to get into. I literally spent two seconds. I was on my way back home grabbing some late night grub because i was streaming all damn day didn't get to eat yet as i was on my way home john Heyman notification on my phone i'm like oh my god starling Marte is officially a new york met four years 78 million dollars i predicted in the last live stream i thought it'd be five, uh four years 75 million bam beautiful oh um, what it wow i just i'm really i'm really at a loss for words billy epler all it took was one night of transactions for him to become the best GM in Mets history, at least over this past decade, probably more than that. Just absolutely floored with what the Mets have been able to do. There's still rumblings about bias too. T Tomas Nito just tweeted out the Puerto Rican flag and then deleted it, which would be an indication of someone like bias, obviously. So if the Mets, if the Mets do something with bias tonight, I'm officially my heart's gonna explode. You know, you're gonna see it live, but. We have so much to get into. We got roughly 600 viewers. How's it going, everybody? Starling Marte is officially a New York Met. Let's go. Give it some hype in the chat. Get some hype in the chat. Mets, oh, oh, they're not going to spin. They're not going to do this. They're not going to do that. Where are the haters now? Please. And don't get me wrong. I know they got more work to do. I'm 100% aware of that. No one's going to know that better than this guy right here. I follow them every day. They got to build this rotation. They got more things to do. Fully locked and loaded. Aware of that. But to land... Starling Marte, arguably the best outfielder on the market right now. One of for sure. Marcana, one of the better outfielders on the market for sure. Eduardo Escobar, one of the better bargain contracts as well, especially for a guy that can play second and third base. Mets get them all. They get them all. Billy Epler, we got the man on the wall. Good thing I put him on the wall. Look at what just happened. Steve Cohen, Mike Kane, finally. He's spending, baby. Let's go. Hype in the chat, baby. That's what I like to see. This is, ins this is insane. Okay, this is... I'm. I'm not even going to get sleep tonight at this rate. I'm shaking. I, and we got so many donations. I'll get into them in a second. But just hype to everyone in the chat. We are taking Billy Appler hype to the moon right about now. What a great feeling. I'm so pumped. I know you guys are too. If you're watching this live, shout out to you. Because that means that you are a trooper. It's 5.30 a.m. Eastern time, bro. It is literally Saturday. If you're watching this on replay, you're probably waking up and like, oh my God, what just happened, right? It, it, regardless, we got so much to get into. The biggest pickup of the night was obviously the one that happened latest tonight at 12.30 Eastern time. My goodness gracious. I'm just, I'm at a lot. I almost feel like I'm going to throw up because how worked up I'm getting. I don't mean that as an exaggeration. It's been that crazy of a day. You guys know we already did two other live streams. Now we got a third and this is the best yet. There's no, no denying it. Timothy, 
with the five dollar donation let's go bias tonight don't sleep tyler we ain't done I, I don't know i don't know about bias right now but all i know is that the mets just got a stud of an outfielder i will take that on my grave this is gonna be huge for the mets in the short term especially over these past couple years mets have been trying to get this guy for literally since at least 2018 right 2018 2019 they finally get the man after a monstrous year splitting time with the miami marlins and the oakland a's an on-base machine 47 47 effing stolen bat stolen bags is what starling Marte had this year i'm actually gonna probably put it up on the graphic shortly after we get rolling for a bit but 47 bags bro just insane absolutely nuts pickup that the mets just did just, the uh, the mlb his jaw is dropped right now everyone is shaking in their damn boots because we all know steve cohen has money it's it's the weather how is he going to spend it when is he going to spend it baby he started spending and he's not done yet all right john rossi with the two dollar donation i guess i shouldn't go to sleep hey worry long time no see john thank you for the two dollar donation hype in the chat compton lc mets need to effing chill <laughs> anyway long live the champions okay also three in one day damn i know as we know, he is, in fact, a Braves fan. A little profanity there. That's okay because he threw in the $5 dono. Hype in the chat of Compton. Guys, help us get a 400 likes by the end of the stream. You know the drill by now. I love you guys so much. I'm amped. I I'm so excited to get into everything there is to know about Starling Marte. In case you guys aren't aware, it's kind of a stud, kind of a big deal, kind of a big signing by the New York Mets. And now in total on the money that the Mets have spent today, they have spent right – They've the Mets have spent, you know, over $120 million today and – totality of their contracts okay if you're wondering how much money the Mets are going to spend this offseason my goodness gracious <laughs> they're going to spend a lot of money <laughs> oh George with the three dollar donation thank you my man we got over 700 viewers how we doing baby Dave with the two dollar donation Mets buying on Black Friday you're damn right they are hi in the chat thank you guys so much for the donos another two dollar Uncle Gun Uncle Stevie gonna drop 300 for three to four hundred million in total this offseason wouldn't surprise me at all um, I was focusing on just like per year that type thing, but going down the list, hype to everybody in the chat. If you're just coming in right now, Mets get their guy. They get the biggest fish outfield wise outside of say Suzuki. I think we can all agree outside of Michael Conforto as well. They get Starling Marte, an absolute stud. He's going to be huge. I want this guy in center and pushing Nemo to left so bad. Let's speak it into existence. I know Nemo is great in center, but I really think that someone like Marte in center with that arm is going to be electric for this team. I really do. And that way will limit the possibility of Nemo getting hurt. I think it's a win-win situation all in all. So hype. Shout out my boy Grav. If you guys don't know, Grav is the best in the hockey game for all things hockey content. Make sure to check out my boy Nathan. Thank you so much for chiming in. And he's a Mets fan. Absolute beauty. We got a bunch more donations we got to get into, folks, before we get even get into this deep dive. What in God's name is going on, bro? I just... I'm out of focus a little bit. Why are you putting me out of focus right now? It's it's the biggest it's the biggest stream in so long. Come on, let's get back in focus, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's do this. Guys, are gonna get some wordy ASMR here. What's going on, folks. Okay, we Gucci. All right, thank you. All right, appreciate that. Five dollar donation from Insanity Bias. I know we'll see what happens. Uh, what a sign. Resign buys and now three streams. I love it. It third stream on the day, folks. And the best one yet. The best one yet. I, Escobar is awesome. Love that, right? Canna, awesome. Love that. Starling Marte, sign me the fuck up. I don't even care that I'm swearing right now. We got to get it out there. This is such a big pickup for the Mets. What they have done today has truly been – I've never seen something like this in Mets history at all. You know, as a young fan, keep that in mind. But to get three moves, three moves of significance in one day, ridiculous. Thank you so much for the $10 dono. We finally get him this time. I know it took long enough, Sima. We got him. We're shutting up the haters. And we got so much to do with this rotation, bro. It finally feels like our hopes and dreams as Mets fans are coming together. And no one deserves it more than all you Mets fans watching this right now. Even a lot more of you Mets fans than me. Because listen, I'm a Mets fan. I'm 21 years of age. I have I obviously haven't dealt with you know, hell and back. Like I know a lot of you seasoned Mets fans have. So if there's anyone that I'm happy about to see this team finally going on the right direction, it's you guys far more than it is me. You know, I have the right to deal with suffering for a long period of time versus a lot of you OGs that have been fans really forever. We're talking, you know, maybe you started becoming a fan at 86 and that was the first memory you knew and nothing else, right? Maybe you became a fan in the 60s, even when they won, right? Regardless, shout out all you guys, all the OGs that have been through hell and back. I'm really praying for you and us as a whole. That this is the start of something great. Truly a fantastic day in Mets history. I really hope that, <laughs> I, I don't even hope, I know that good things are coming. This Mets team is already better next season offensively. There's no denying that. You're talking about Marte, Canna, Nemo, what an outfield that is. 
on base machines all on your team. They can all be your place setter in all different ways. It's absolutely electric. We're feeling it right now. This is so damn good. So, so damn good, folks. Hype in the chat, baby. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let's go down the list further here. I know we got a lot more people. We got roughly 800 viewers, guys. Help us get 11K subs for the next short-term goal. If you're new on the channel, make sure to smash those buttons. Look at Nito on Twitter. I saw Nito's Twitter. Again, we'll see if anything comes with bias. Um, we went from signing Nick Plummer one day to Escobar, Canna, and Sterling Marte another. Again, the MLB is in shambles. They are shaking in their damn boots, and rightfully so. Let's go, baby. Hype in the chat for Brandon with the $5 donation. Really, really appreciate that. Just blockbuster news. Again, folks, if you're just coming in live, just chiming in, the Mets have made their third signing of the day, and by far their most, their most significant, landing a star outfielder in Starling Marte, who had a stellar year between the Miami Marlins, Oakland A's, 47 stolen bags right around the most in his career. I think he had one other season where it was just around as good, and we'll be getting into all of his numbers here shortly. Don't you worry. Just want to share my raw reaction with you guys some more. Just absolutely nuts. Juan Papo, my man, thank you so much for the five donation. LGM, I'm super pumped. Me too, my man. I'm feeling so good. Excited to see you for the third time tonight. If we get Suzuki and Baez, I'm going to run through a wall. I think Suzuki is out of the picture now, if I'm being quite honest with you. I think Marte kind of seals it. Um, you know, the Mets have their outfield solidified for next year. They definitely could still add on to it. They might, but um, I don't think Suzuki is going to happen, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. If they did, I don't, I don't even know what I would do. And all I do know is that if the Mets do re-sign Javi Baez, then Jeff McNeil is officially a man without a position. So a lot of questions are going to arise with, with McNeil and others. You know, a lot of moves are going to happen, folks. It's all going to happen this offseason. And with the deadline coming up for the lockout in December, we're already getting big signings. This is a massive one. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much for the $5 donation. Felix Jimenez, $2 donor. Let's go Mets. Keep spending. Absolutely. They're spending like wildfire right now, but they're getting the job done. What a move. Shout out to Mets Media. You guys know the drill. Our boy Richie at Mets Media. He'll be back on the channel soon. Let's go. Huge move. Love it. Me too, my man. Hype in the chat. Love that thing. $5 donor here from Charles. I think more than anything our fan base need this day. 100%. Every Mets fan and their mother need this day. Also, now we need one or maybe two even ace pitchers like uh, Scherzer or Gosman, and we are golden. I couldn't agree more with you. If the Mets go, If the Mets go down the deep end, which is exactly what they're doing for starting pitching, the world's our oyster. It really is. That I'm feeling so confident going into next season as long as everything continues the way it has so far so good i'm on the billy epper train we got the man literally just a couple days after playing epler on my wall we have a three-day signing like this fan flipping tastic just oh my, the hype is real guys it really is if rain with the five dollar donation thank you so much for the five dollars i feel this solidifies the outfield let's get spending on that pitching absolutely yes we're gonna get we're gonna get spending on the pitching soon Thank you again for the five. Thank you all so much for the consistent donations, folks. But another one here from Alberto Soto. Let's effing go. Give me buys. We all want to have you back. I know, baby. Hopefully we get them soon, but let's enjoy this as we can right now. Starling Marte, not just a versatile, not just an explosive outfielder, but just an on-base goddess. This is guy, not goddess. That would be a woman, a god, right? This is a guy like Nemo, like Cannon, uh, Canna ridiculous on-base clip as i said in my previous live stream already let's look at the numbers again as you see here in 2021 120 games played 12 home runs 55 rbis 89 runs scored this guy has almost double the amount of runs scored that he has rbis that tells you he's always gaining on base and he's gaining runners in scoring position he's getting on at least second base to round second round third go home right on a single or whatever it's going to be that's fantastic. The Mets need run sword. And at Billy Epler emphasized that they need guys with good plate approach, good plate discipline, but also guys are they really just want to make the differential as significant as they can with runs scored versus runs against. This is how you do this. From a Mets team that struggled so much this past year in 2021, their offense truly got significantly better in a lot of ways. Even if they do lose Michael Conforto, even if they do end up parting ways with a Jeff McNeil, a J.D. Davis, a Dom Smith, they're doing things to this team that is going to put them in a spot to help get success, hopefully get on a playoff run, and make something magical happen in the year or years going forward. Absolutely love this signing for the New York Mets. Cannot emphasize that enough. And like I said, we'll be getting plenty more into Marte's numbers as we are here in the live stream. Again, thank you for the donation, Alberto. Love and appreciate you, my man. And I hype it to everybody in the chat, folks. Absolutely nuts. Pat Ragazzo tweet. What did Pat tweet, folks? If any new tweets happen, let me know. I got to keep addressing the donations before we go further. Um, I feel a lot better now that we can say goodbye to Michael Conforto. I, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable 
if the Mets obviously they're, they're they lost Michael. This is an indication that Michael's not returning. I don't see how Michael Conforto returns now. Now the Mets will get a compensation pick in that sense, and they have a really strong outfield. I I can I love Michael Conforto to death. He's my favorite player, but it seems like that they clearly are going down different routes. Um, Compton can't wait uh, for Mark's video to come out. Also, I have no idea why I like Mets YouTubers buy like. Um, you like to keep your enemies close. I appreciate I'm excited for Mark's video too. Everyone's going to be talking about this somewhere. More content will be coming out about these moves. I'll probably have a video or another live stream tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, but just monstrous moves again to get Sterling Marte. Shout out to Compton who's a great Braves fan. Yes. I said that in the chat. Power Gaza tweet. I will get to that. Thank you for the $2 donation. Trolley and $7 here from Joe. Thank you so much, Joe. Where does Marte ban the order? Marte is usually a guy that could be towards the top of your order but because the Mets now have three guys that could be towards the top of your order and Canna, Marte and Nimmo I'd imagine that Nimmo will probably be a lead off you can have Marte or Canna in your top three and then the other one I think you could actually have is your ninth header so that way you have a rotation of just three on base gods or someone where maybe you have one more so in the middle or down the order so you have a good balance of on base guys and big bat guys. You want that balance. You want you don't want them all log jammed together. But I don't I don't have accurately where they're gonna put them yet, obviously, but no less they're gonna figure out something very good. And let's go to Pat Regazzo's tweet real quick before we go any further. So much hype. I mean, okay, if it's being sent to me. Oh my god. According to Pat Regazzo, hearing the Mets are still very serious about a reunion with Javier Baez after spending 124.5 million on Marte Canna Escobar expectations as Baez will give them a chance to match any external offer he gets. Let's go. Shout out to Pat. We all love Pat in the chat. Pat does a great job covering the Mets. He does it through um, an affiliate with sports illustrated. Great guy. Shout out to Pat. Um, that's awesome though. Again, I, I, I'm not, I'm not surprised that the Mets will do all they can to keep um, Baez. So, by no means am I surprised, but I am awfully excited just about the thought of Baez coming back, man. Oh, this is just amazing news. What a day. What a day in Mets land. $5 donation from Mark. This is proof the Mets are going all in. He will create the team we have been waiting for since 2000. Baez and Brian, that I will start to cry. I, I will be on that same train with you. I will start to cry as well. Mark, thank you so much for the $5 donation. Hype to everybody in the chat, baby. Oh, my goodness. If Mets are going to match any offer for Baez, then Baez is coming back, folks. Again, knock on wood. I'm not going to jinx anything. We will see what happens. I got the kaboom. I got the Javi Baez newspaper on the wall behind me for a reason. So take that as you will, folks. Just massive moves by the Mets right now. Absolutely massive. Your smile at the start, priceless. I'm okay. <laughs> Christopher, thank you for the donation. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm just, I am, I am floored. I'm truly at a loss for words at what has transpired tonight, folks. To get a guy like Starling Marte, let's go through his numbers for a minute. In case you guys aren't aware on just how damn good Starling Marte is, this is a guy that literally has, as you see here, a career 346 on base, a 289 career average, 451 slugging, just sub 800 OPS. He's a guy that the Mets have tried going after numerous times and you know during his time with the Pittsburgh Pirates especially. And it's just such a relief knowing that they get him. Yes, I know it's a four-year deal. And yes, I know that Marte is entering, he will be entering his 33 season. Yes, he'll be in his 33 age season because he just turned 33. But that's not going to phase me. At least half this contract should be really good. And Marte could be someone that ends up pivoting to possibly a DH role or something along those lines, depending on how the years go and the couple. But fantastic deal. Love this. To not just Lance Starling Marte, who was arguably the best outfielder available in free agency, but to land him and also make sure that the Phillies don't land him or even potentially the Braves that are still figuring out their outfield. That is monstrous. That is why this is so much more important to me because you don't just land a big name bat, big name on base guy, big name stolen bags guy, 47 stolen bags, bro, in 2021. Absolutely on fire for the speed and given his age, remarkable. But to do that, while also making sure that your rivals do not land these players is what makes this all that much sweeter. This is what the Mets need to do. They need to obviously make sure that they're prioritizing guys that feel that they will be upgraded to the team, but especially to avoid them from going across town, whether they go to Philly or whether they go to Atlanta or something along those lines. Like That's important. That helps this team a lot to make sure the, the competition doesn't get as good of players potentially, especially through free agency. Absolutely love this monstrous contract. Uh, just damn, 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 damn. This was a great move by the Mets. Cannot emphasize that enough, folks. Let's continue to go through, though. I know we got a donation. I'm going to address that quick. Quint Kane Snow, a great supporter on the channel. Can we give uh thank you to Matt's agent for pissing off Uncle Stevie? Oh, my God. 
that's such a great point. And I don't know how much I, that should hold into things. But yes, we all know Steve Cohen was upset about losing out on Steven Matz, as comical as that kind of sounds. Um, no, upset with the agent process during that. What do the Mets do? They make three big signings, including the biggest tonight at almost 1 a.m. Eastern time. Bro, I don't give a damn what time it is right now. We are going through this. Mets, Billy Epler, Steve Cohen, Sandy Allerson, they're getting the job done. We got a new member on the channel. Thank you so much for the membership. Is it uh, Re Citizen? Rye Citizen? Thank you so much for becoming a member of Wardy NYM. Really appreciate that. Hype in the chat. And guys, continue. Let me know your thoughts. It does look like that Baez, great chance of him coming back. I'm ready. I'm locked and loaded. Hopefully it happens this weekend. That would be fantastic. I'm going to lose my mind if we bring back Baez too because I know that we already had a taste of him and I know it's a resigning, but it really does feel like that blockbuster move like a Francisco Lindor again because you just had a taste of him. You know, I, I, don't, want, I don't want the damn appetizer. I want the whole damn meal, right? And the only way you got to get the meal is if you pay the man. It looks like that the Mets are in direction to fully do so. Uh, Baez, pitching-wise, Stroman, Gosman, Scherzer, Robbie Ray, guys in the mix. Address this rotation. Address the infield some more like with Baez and others, I said. <sighs> Man, what what a night in Mets land. What an effing night. We're feeling really good right now, aren't we? Um, Tim with the $2 donation. Reyes was the last guy who stole bases off GM. I know. And then if the Mets get Baez, they get Baez and Marte that can steal the bags the way that they do. Chef's kiss. I love that. Thank you for the $2 donation, Tim. Really appreciate it. I don't know where we are in the like count again, folks. But again, help us get to 500 likes by the end of the stream. It's always appreciated, um, regardless if you're watching this live or on replay. And I'll just get in 11K subs as well. I know we got a lot of new viewers in the chat. I know you're new, and I know you like consistent Mets content. So my question is, why aren't you subscribed yet? Because this is the place to be. We're the biggest Mets platform on YouTube, not affiliated with the actual team. And there's a reason for it. And that is all thanks to you guys for the continued support. So thank you all so much for that in advance and, you know, just in general. A. Lavelle with the $10 donation. Great member. Love the PFP, by the way. It looks like Venom. Am I, am I correct? That looks sick. What's up, Rory? I hope you and your family had a happy Thanksgiving. Same to you, my man. Thank you so much for chiming in. Good pickup. Marte is a good outfielder and a good bat. Now let's get some pitchers. Let's go Mets. Preaching in the choir, A. Lavelle. You've been a great supporter on the channel for quite a while now. Please know that. I've always appreciated you. Thank you so much for the donation. Love this. Just love this move so much, guys. And Sandy, shot, shot, shots every day. <laughs> Black Bias jersey on the way. I mean, the Mets do have the Black Bias jersey available. I, I haven't purchased it yet and a lot of people were wondering why would you have him available when you don't know if you're going to bring him back well seems like the Mets may very well be confident that they'll bring him back um again knocking on wood not trying to get ahead of myself or anything but I'm really happy right now let's let's play that way John with the 33 33 donation my man thank you so much worry times for tonight you're a beast no you're a beast John for the donation it's stuff like that that makes this possible that we're able to make this full time going here on worry NYM so thank you so much for the donation hi to everybody in the donation folks guys guys let, let's take a moment to soak in what a day it has been for the Mets right I absolutely love this and I get it that this is a guy that is at age 33 no, I do not think that he's going to be a gold glove in the outfield for the Mets. And no, do I think, I think there's even a decent chance that he could pivot to DH, um, you know, two years from now, potentially. But even if that's the case, as long as the bat stays strong, as long as the speed's still there, Mets are going to be in a fine spot. And for a team that's in a win now stage, this is what helps you win now, right? This is a great move. That's that's truly all I can say on the matter. A 134 WRC plus, a 5.5 war of wins, wins above replacement in 2021. A 383 on base this year, just marvelous marvelous if we're looking at what he did in the past full season which was 2019 my man had a 295 average of 342 on base a 503 slugging which include 23 home runs 97 runs scored 82 rbis 25 stolen bags Marte, in his age 32 season tied the amount of stolen bags that he had six years ago in 2015 with the pirates that was the last time they had 47 bags in the season Marte, on average literally uh, if you're looking at his pro projections, actually, for next season, this is according to fan graphs. He is projected next season to have 18 home runs, 85 runs scored, 73 RBIs, which is more than 2021, 32 stolen bags, a 277 average, 340 on base, and a 438 slugging, which would be more, more than feasible with the Mets. And I think that there's a chance to even get some more um stolen bags potentially there but Marte is literally a guy that averages at least 30 bags a season like this is huge um I think when it comes to stolen bags especially it's such a lost art in today's baseball and it really pisses me off to be quite honest with you I think it's I think it's so important to have stealing bags as part of your game I think small ball is huge in baseball 
It doesn't get recognized enough. And that's how you help win games. I mean, look, it, as long as you're stealing bags and not getting caught too often, which is what Marte is known for, he doesn't get caught a crazy amount when he's stealing bags usually. Um, this is only going to help lead success to get runners in scoring position. So I love that. And again, continue to smash that like and subscribe on folks. Help us get to 500 likes by the end of the stream. to my roughly 1,000 viewers. And yes, that is true. Roughly 1,000 viewers. Love you guys so much. I was getting 11 K as well. Continue. Let me know your thoughts in the chat. How you feel about Starling Marte Lenny with the New York Mets, baby. Let's go. This is just like, I can't emphasize enough how important today is not just for us Mets fans, but for the Mets. We're getting the ball rolling here. Jeremy with the $5 donation. Don't forget about Jacob DeGrom. They need to extend his contract and definitely buy and maybe Bryant, whatever big starter uh, to strengthen the team. I, I'm not forgetting at all, Jeremy, and I don't think the Mets are either. I think that they're really showing that they are on the right route this offseason to making big signings and really trying to go all in on next season. I want Kona to tweet, you're welcome. That would be hilarious. I, I think he might wait until they hopefully bring back buys or something along those lines. Um, two dollar donation here from my man Dave. Dave, great support. On, Dave's a huge support on the channel. Great friend of mine. Thank you so much, Dave. Buy Strong Mad Max next. <laughs> uh, that that would be that would be the off season to remember. I, I think at that point, if something like that happened, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't see both Mad Max and Scherzer coming. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> I don't see both Mad Max and Stro coming. Um, but if it did, I would. I don't know how I would react. I think that I would break something out of excitement. And that would be the off season like never before for the New York Mets. Um, thank you again for the donation. Um, let's go down the list further. Five dollar donation from a great supporter on the channel and Ferrari Frank. Thank you so much for the five dollar. Don't know my man. Really appreciate it. Marte. Now we'll be playing center field, and now Uncle Steve go after Max Scherzer. You'd have to think that this is enticing though, with how the Mets are spending and the type of moves that they're making. It really feels like this is enticing for someone like Max Scherzer and other big names that you know want to not just get the bag thrown at them, obviously, for to know that they're going to a winning club, but also get security of a team that's going in the right direction. And I know that's hard to say with a Mets team, because don't get me wrong, they're a team that, you know, struggles so hard to get a GM, don't even have present baseball operations right now, don't have a manager yet, don't really have a coaching staff, and have had everything go awry for them throughout their entire existence as a franchise. And nothing's been pretty since Steve Cohen became owner. Like, let's, let's be real here. I love Steve, and I love a lot of the moves he did. But this is a this is a process. But one thing is certain, and that is the fact that the Mets are developing and they're going in the right direction. And these are all indications of doing so. I'm really happy for Mets fans because I think that this gives them a sense of comfort knowing that you have an owner that's willing to spend, but you're actually seeing him start to spend the way that you like. Let's not forget the Francisco and door contract last offseason, everything else that they did, because that's a lot of money. Um, but still, I feel like people need constant reassurance. This helps you. And I think this is going to be just Really, truly the start of something special this offseason. And I do expect more moves to happen prior to the December deadline, in which we would assume we have a lockout at that point. And yes, Marte's 33 years old, so he'll go into, you know, he'll be with the Mets right up until, you know, he's almost 40. It'll be 39 when his contract's done. Um, whether he plays his entire contract with the Mets or not, or something that has yet to be seen, not worried about that right now. I'm just worried about the now. I'm worried about his age 33, age 34 season. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know why I said he'd be 39 when the contract's up. I I don't even know how to count. Clearly, he'll be he's going to be 33 for 2022, 34, 35. He'll be 36 when his contract's up. I don't know why I why I said 39. I can't, guys. You understand? It's third stream of the night. You can't expect me to know common math. Okay, you're you're asking for literally way too much. Okay, the best you're going to get is me ranting right now because I'm just absolutely floored about what has transpired, which is Mets not making one, not making two, but three significant signings today, capping it off with Starling Marte. And I'm assuming that this will be it for tonight. You know, we'll see. Um, we still have a bit more to go in the live stream here, but just just what what a day, what a day. Um, okay, pick up, uh, not as good as me, but it's something. It is something. <laughs> from Orphanage Builder DeGrom. Appreciate the donation, my man. $2 dono from Jake over here. Yankees fans are feeling salty, right? I know Yankees fans tend to get upset when teams do things that they don't. I, in in retrospect, you know Mets fans feel the same way, but to think I'm going to sympathize with Yankees fans right now, you got another thing. I have a bridge to sell you, as you guys famously know. If you've been following the channel, you know that saying is locked and loaded right now. Um, Marte only only has seven less stolen bags in Trey Turner since 2018. That's crazy. And again, I don't expect Marte to steal 40 bags next year, especially at his age. He's naturally going to slow down. But just giving that the Met, the Mets that strength and that really that aggressiveness on the base pass is huge, along with someone like Javi Baez and others. 
Um, I missed your super chat. Oh, Webs, let's go up to your super chat, my man. I'm sorry if I missed it. Oh, here we go. I found it. Okay. Marte, Escobar, and Canna in six hours. Epler is awesome. Yes, he is. Appreciate the $2 donation. I'm hype in the chat for Webs with the $2 donation. That's so nice. Chance Neo's uh, PR flag tweet was for Correa, not Baez. I think there's possibility, but I'm going to I'm gonna really go with the assumption it's about bias. Like, let's be real here. I don't I don't think Carlos Correa is happening. As much as, as cool as that would, as dope as that would be, I don't think that's happening. I think that's okay that that's not happening. I really do. <laughs> but again, thank you guys. And oh my goodness, we're getting closer to 400 likes, folks. Continue to smash that like and subscribe on. As always, if you're watching this live in the stream, thank you for the support. Yes, just know that I love and appreciate all you guys so much. It's just what a day it is in Mets land again. Spent over $120 million today, folks. Like, it was nothing. Talk about a shot in the dark, though. Like, I knew, I understood that Mets moves were happening. We're all aware of that. But the fact that it happened just with nothing leading up to this. Like, we knew that the Mar the Marte market was seen up. So, that's something you can make the justification of. Okay, we knew Marte would make a decision rather soon. But even then, there was no indication that the Mets were the favorite. Really up until the Canna signing. And no one knew about Canna coming to the Mets other than just assuming shout out Jolly Off because I know he always wanted Canna on the Mets. And Eduardo Escobar, no one knew that he would be signing, let alone today and let alone to the Mets, right? So Mets are not just being sneaky, but they're acting fast as heck. That's important because that tells you that Billy Epler, like I said, he's on that phone 24-7. He's working his tail off right now, and he is giving quite the impression to start his tenure as a GM for the New York Mets. Again, nothing is... Nothing is, uh, you know, we're going to see how these players pan out, but just from the forefront, knowing the contracts that they got these guys on and the role that they're assumably going to have for the Mets in 2022, so far, so damn good. Love this. SNY Mets have a nice jersey swap. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that, that'll be on the thumbnail once we're done with the stream. Don't worry. Um, the, the, this off season is just an emotional roller. Oh, of course it is. Of course it is Alejandro. Thank you so much for the $2 donation, but that's part of being a Mets fan. You know, it just, let me put it this way. I, 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 tr I, 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 I'd like to say that I pride myself on being as prepared as possible, especially with Mets coverage. You know, there's a reason why you guys see me the first with so many things on YouTube and all those things. And it's because I, I genuinely care and try my best to be prepared for these things. But to see me as caught off guard as I was today should be further proof of just how sneaky things transpire with Billy Epler and getting these getting these things done. You know, huge hats off to Billy. <laughs> like I'm gonna be kissing that newspaper before I go to bed tonight and hoping that the one next year I can kiss it too, because that means bias comes back. So we'll see. Uh, this is a little bit of an early Christmas for us Mets fans, and by no means are they done yet. So buckle up, folks. Just beginning this offseason. But what a splash it has been so far against Starling Marte. An absolute just 47 stolen bags, bro. Mets haven't had anything. They, oh, my God. It just This just changes. Just, oh, just thinking about the offense already. Just thinking about the on-base machines this offense has already. And they're not even done. It's it's truly jaw dropping. It's such an exciting thought. It really is. Dominic with the two dollar donation. Respect the hustle, worry. Marte was my number one priority. Thank you, Dom. I appreciate that. And yes, I know a lot of people have loved the thought of Marte and him coming to the Mets. I was for sure one of them. If you guys watched my video on Marte when the Mets first got connected to him, I think it had been like two weeks ago now. I've always been on the Marte hype train. I've been a fan of his for a while. He was dominant with Pittsburgh was really good short stint when he was with the D-backs and singing with Miami. So he's been a good player. Um, and a, a, a kind of just an all-tool type guy. He's he's going to benefit the Mets in a lot of ways here. And just, man, oh, man, they, they're, they're, they're looking a lot better <laughs> heading into next season offensively and a lot more excitement, a lot more just not just clubhouse personalities, but guys that are have veteran leadership too, like know what it takes to win. Like they, they're really – what they're building right now is – probably as good as what I could ask for from Billy Epler in the Mets. And it's beyond that. So again, shout out to them. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm blessed to call myself a Mets fan as crazy as that might come off to you guys. But you know, I know that this team is going in the right direction. I know that they're going to have great success in my lifetime. And I hope the same for you guys too. It, it might've been a long time coming and nothing is guaranteed yet, but they're 1000% putting themselves in the right shoes. They're, they're, pay, they're taking the right step forward. By no means do I think that they're taking any steps backward. Um, five dollar donation here from Jim. Jim, thank you so much. Uh, Stro says he would love them to come back, but he thinks that the Mets are uh, prioritizing other pitchers. I'm aware of that Jim. We talked about that in the last live stream. 
Thank you so much for the five dollar donation. Really appreciate that. Yeah, he said that he thinks like he views himself as his own source. He thinks that the Mets aren't prioritizing Stro. Uh, he thinks, pardon me, that the Mets aren't prioritizing him. That they're prioritizing other pitchers, and he's technically right if what reports are true. Because I know that Andy Martino, we all love Andy. Cue the sarcasm here. Um, did tweet earlier today that the Mets are in on Scherzer, are in on Gosman. Those are guys on their list, and John Heyman tweeted as well. Um, that Strowman was there, but like not number one. Um, I think that holds true. I do think that the Mets would love Strowman back, but there's a reason why they, they, he, he might not be first on their list right now. And all I can hope for is if he's really not number one on their list, that the reason why he's not is because of Max Scherzer. If that's the case, then I think that's really justified on their part. Because, you know, if you can go all in on Mad Max and you do it, Hype in the chat of Darren. It's 6 a.m. Guys, my boy Darren, great member on the channel. It's literally 6 a.m. because he lives in the U.K. Best Mets fan you'll ever meet from the U.K. I only woke up to this news three minutes ago. Team no sleep now. Hi, that's an awesome, Darren. I'm glad that you could be here in the morning and not late night like I am right now. Um, $2 donation again from Webbs. Mets need two of either Scherzer, Stroman, or Gosman. I don't think it's – let me put it this way. I, I, I think the Mets can still have a great offseason without them for certain landing two. But I think if they can land two, then yeah, that'll be absolutely ginormous for them. And I, I would be all for it. I really would be. That'd be amazing. But, you know, I can't, I, I love A's pitchers too, Robert, in the chat. I'm well, I'm all in on, I would love Mania, would love Frankie Montas, would love a Chris Bassett, but those cost assets. And it seems pretty obvious that the Mets are going all in on the free agent market. Uh, but they will have assets. They will have guys that they can part with. And the more that they add position players, the more that there isn't room for JD Davis, Dom Smith, even Jeff McNeil among others. So keep that in mind. Mets are going to, Mets are going to do a lot. They're going to do a lot. Um, always so high. The most depressing broadcaster ever. They need Scherzer and Stro. Okay. All right. Well, you can get out of here, Mitch. If you think what's transpiring right now is depressing, it's called being a realist. You have to understand that nothing's guaranteed. I would love Scherzer and I would love Stroman both. But it suggests that they for certain will be able to land both is a fallacy. Until it's proven otherwise, we don't know. But they're on a great path to prove us that they may go down that route. But just because the Mets maybe throw 120 mil over three years at Scherzer doesn't mean that Max wants to come to the Mets. There's a reason why he hasn't had interest in the past. Now, will they be able to sway him enough with a bag? Maybe. That would be awesome if they can. But by no means should you get your hypes up about, uh, hopes up about right now. I just don't want anyone to set themselves up for disappointment. You want to be... You want to be... You wanna be cautiously you know optimistic about all this but this is a th these are great steps right now let, let me put it that way uh I, I cannot further explain just how awesome of a direction the mets are going in now based on these three moves they're really in a good spot just just make sure that you're not too sold on something like that no martino is the most depressing announcer oh okay all right I, my mistake mitch i you're right you're 100 right don't get me started on andy he, he might be accurate about plenty of things this offseason but it doesn't mean that i i have it personal, you know, um, excitement with the man. I, that would be uh, farthest thing from the truth. <laughs> Dom Smith for Chad Green? No. I, I think Billy Upper said it best. You shouldn't expect him to do trades with Brian Cashman, especially with them being close friends and really understanding each other well. So naturally, if they try to propose a trade one of them, the other one probably knows why they're trying to do it as to, you know, who's going to win that deal. Um, I really want buys you and I both. Absolutely. Yeah, just... What a day for us Mets fans. Our lineup is looking pretty impressive. It is, and it's not even done yet. That's the thing. They bring back bias. That'll be electric. Really hope we can stream about that within the next day or multiple days. If they do anything else significant offensively, fantastic. And I think that there's a very good likelihood that they will. And they're doing it in a very short period of time, which is great to see. So that way that they can hone in on their other markets too, um, potentially after the lockout. Like uh, They might land a pitcher or two before the lockout. That'd be awesome. But if they don't, then they're going to just have all this time to really build it up. They really did most of the work and the offense prior to this. So we'll see. Um, apparently, Trevor Story is in the mix. According to what, Andre? Let, Trevor Story, that would be something. That would be something if Trevor Story is in the mix. Uh, let, let me let me know, though, how where you're getting that from, though, Andre. Um, but, yeah, again, folks, if you don't know who Strongly Marte is, see the numbers on here, 47 stolen bags in 2021. Just an absolute monster. This is a guy, if you look at his career numbers, since he became an everyday player, you know, first year in 2013, um, had himself 12 home runs, 3-5 RBIs, 83 runs scored in his first full year as a big leader. 83 runs on just 3-5 RBIs. This man, an on-base phenom, 
Oh my goodness. Second year had himself 13 bombs, 56 RBIs, 73 runs scored. Third year, 19 bombs, 81 RBIs, and 84 runs scored. So he really was swinging the bat and getting those runs in that time. Third year, um, nine home runs, 46 RBIs, 71 runs scored. So a bit of a dip. Uh, fourth year, for I might, might be fourth or fifth. Either way, 2017, seven home runs. Um, oh, it's half a season though. 31 RBIs, 48 runs scored. After that, 2018, 20 bombs, 72 RBIs, 81 runs scored. 2019, 23 bombs, 82 RBIs, 97 runs scored. And now 2021, 12 home runs, 55 RBIs, 89 runs scored with a 383 on base, which is the best on base he's ever had in his career. You're crying right now. Yan is that uh, Yankee fans that way? Okay, Megan with the 99 cent donation. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Hype in the chat for Megan. With the dono, always appreciate. Thank you guys for that. Always. Oh, you saw it. Well, you saw it from WFAN. You heard it on WFAN about Trevor's story. We need confirmation. Game break kid just woke up in the UK too. Awesome. Uh, Neato tween our flag only means uh Benia still getting paid. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no, that doesn't have to do with Bobby Benia uh, with him tween the flag. No, I don't think that's to do with that. I appreciate the five dollar donation though. Really, really appreciate that. Hype in the chat. John Gray, don't don't say El El Mayo. John Gray would be a, a fantastic depth pickup for the Mets for the back end of the rotation. Don't sleep on John Gray. He's going to bounce back next year wherever he lands, and he's going to be on a very affordable contract. Um. Okay. Everyone's saying they heard it on the fan. Okay. Interesting. 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 Okay. So Trevor Story might be in the mix according to the fan. I don't know. I genuinely don't know um, if anything will come of that. Philly's interested in story. That makes sense for story. I don't see story landing with the Mets. I see bias landing with the Mets. I think that'll be potentially the lot, the biggest infield move they make. Maybe they, maybe they still go for Chris Bryant at third or something. Um, but I do think bias will be the biggest splash infield wise. They'll make um, I would, if, if I'm wrong though, that'd be awesome. That means that they're making even something more significant. No story to Phillies now has picked up traction. Oh, okay. I gotcha. I mean, that makes sense. Phillies are probably honing in on Marte. Now they're going to hone in on story. They don't have a shortstop at all. DD can't get it done. Um, story would be an awesome pickup for the Phillies. I don't want to see it happening, but it would be an awesome pickup for them. It would, um, that would be their way of countering. Uncle Steve is so wine drunk. <laughs> He's feeling himself tonight. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, we passed 400 likes. Thank you so much for the 400 likes, folks. Love and appreciate you guys. Continue to smash that like and subscribe on. If you guys are enjoying the live stream live or on replay, help us get a 500 likes by the end of the stream. That's always appreciated as well. Uh, do I feel that the core Mets team is gone? Um, a lot of them, yeah. I, I think that this offseason is an indication of not a rebuild, but a retool and a significant one, like an aggressive retool for that matter. So, yeah, I think to a certain extent, yes, that, that's the case. Baez makes sense, but I think starting pitching and relief pitching got to be priority over Baez. I think it's fine as long as they do it all. I got to be on. I don't think relief pitching should be a priority over Baez. Hell no, my opinion. No, I think Baez should be a priority, absolutely. Um, and I do think starting pitching can and will be. I think the Mets are proving that they can do multiple things. I'm um, hearing number for Baez are not far off. Yeah, I think I think that we're going to hear a lot about Baez. And, you know, I – whether they get something done tonight or whenever, they I feel like we're gonna find out about bias fairly soon, which is really exciting. I would love to I would love to go all in on bias because that would be the biggest one. Thomas looks like he just woke up. <laughs> yes, Star Starling Marte is a New York Met baby. Two dollar donation here from um uh Steve G. Steve, thank you so much for the donation, brother. Appreciate you. Resign Stro, get Scherzer, um, Yimmy, and trade for Leon. Everything but Leon, I agree with you. I agree with you on everything, but but Leon, appreciate the donation, no, no less. Steve, you're the best. No more Suzuki. Yeah, I don't. I think Suzuki's out now. Yeah, I would love to say Suzuki, but it's clear that that's not the direction that they're going in. And maybe it was the direction that was never like likely, based on how deep his market is. Like, there's reasons. There's reasons behind these things. I'm a huge advocate for say Suzuki. Um, I hope that he doesn't go to anyone within the division. Um, if he goes to San Fran, goes to Texas, something like that, I think that would make a lot of sense for him. Um, I'm still going to be rooting for him as long as he doesn't go on a rival club for sure. 
Big say Suzuki fan. You want Castillo from Cincinnati? Andrew, it's not happening. It's not happening. It feels very unlikely that Castillo is even going to get dealt this offseason because of how high his price is going to be. And the Reds' reluctance after originally saying that he was available because the Reds every single year throw out players and then reel them back because they have no clue how to manage an organization. And yes, that's 1,000% factual. Um, but no, I don't I don't think Castillo is going to happen. I think all the big all the big things that will happen with the Mets pitching wise more than likely are going to happen in the free agent market. But again, we'll see. We'll see. On a contending team, Canada has a great backup, not a starting outfielder. Uh, I, I don't I don't think that's true at all, actually, Gerald. I think that the Mets could be more than contending with Canada as a starter. But I do think that there's also a possibility that, he, that he's used as an ultra-utility guy as well um, in that outfield. Again, we're going to see. Oh, they have a lot. They have plenty more moves that they're going to make, uh, plenty more that they're going to be doing over a short period of time. Does anyone know Epler's bedtime? I, I'm assuming Epler is in uh, California right now which would justify why he's making moves this late thoughts on the 56% um, uh, GB percentage. Give me one second. I'm trying to see where I had that. Is is GB percentage for uh, double plays, like ground ball? I mean ground balls. That's for that's ground ball percentage, correct? Just want to make sure that I, I don't mess up my statistics here. I don't think that's anything that's going to be a huge detriment to him. Um, but I I don't let me put it this way. I don't think Starling Marte is going to come in and be having career years with the Mets. But I do think he's going to come in and by all means get the job done for what they need him to do. Um, I think that for what he's coming in for the Mets is going to fa far outweigh the potential risk, especially towards the latter half of that deal, like maybe the final year or close to, right? Um, I really think that the Mets are in a prime position for a win now team that's going to benefit greatly from Marte on the short term. And if any issues arise on the long term, I mean, the Mets have made it known that they're willing to eat contracts. So I, by no means, am I going to hold it against them? I, I think that it's, it would be almost full. I think it would be pretty much foolish to look at this pickup and say and focus on a negative, like something like that, versus the positives that that it will automatically bring to you. Especially given the other options in the outfield, there really aren't much other than say a Suzuki. And Suzuki, clearly, there's a reason why that they aren't going to land him, assuming that they don't. Where the heck is Nick uh, Plummer going to play now? He He's going to try to crack a bench spot is what I would assume. Him and clearly will battle it out. Why still have Cano contract weighing us down? The Cano contract isn't weighing us down. That's a fallacy. People that think that the Cano contract is weighing us down aren't paying attention to the fact that the Mets are willing to spend. Billy Epler wouldn't have just came out in a uh, uh, MLB radio show two days ago and say that the Mets are exploring opportunities to even take on fat contracts in order to receive prospect capital. What that tells you that the Mets have so much financial flexibility that they're even pondering the idea of just eating bad contracts so that they can build the prospect, uh, their, their farm. And they can do that. Clearly the Cano contract is not going to be a hindrance on them to the point of, oh my goodness, they can't make certain signings. They can't do this. They can't do that. No, that's it's pretty obvious that that is not the case with them, which I'm beyond grateful for as a Mets fan. Yeah, the lineup is looking scary. It's looking better and better by the by the hour at this rate. It really is. It's looking fan flipping tastic. I'm very happy about it. What about Clint Flazier? Um, as a depth option, maybe, but I, I doubt it, honestly. Would love to see Chapman and Baez. Uh, yeah, that would be electric. I would love that too. Not gonna lie, I kind of want them to get Suzuki. So do I. I just don't think it's gonna happen. Bullpen thoughts. Love Taylor Rogers, who they've been connected to from Minnesota. Would love an Andrew Chafin. Really like a Colin McHugh type who uh, 
who was a Met before and had a solid year with the Tampa Bay Rays this past year and for agency. Uh, he's a free agent now. Um, there's multiple routes, bullpen-wise, they can go down that I like. And a lot of them are available through free agency. Jason Smith, Twitter. Mets have more moves coming up. Let's check who Jason Smith is. I, I've. It might be even if it's fake, it's fine. But we just gotta check. Who's Jason Smith though? Because that's such a basic name. I don't know who that is. Is that even a reporter, or is that just you know some meme account? Um, if someone can let me know in the chat, I'd appreciate it. Brian, I think Brian's still possible. I just don't know the likelihood of it. I really don't. Stupid question, but what do I think a contract looks like for KB? I think KB gets a contract kind of pretty similar to Javi Baez. Um, you know, potentially, I think Bride's probably wanting a seven year deal, is what my guess would be between five and seven, probably t- leaning towards seven at at least 200 million, probably more than that. Um, maybe less, but I think Bride wants a long term deal along those lines. I get it that you guys are telling me Jason Smith, but you can can you help me f- like what Jason Smith? Someone tagged me on Twitter or something like I don't know. I don't know a Jason Smith reporter, and there's so many Jason Smiths. Angel signed Gosman tomorrow, according to what? Your sources? <coughs> He's verified. There's a lot of Jason Smiths verified. Oh, okay. Now I found it. I tell you what, Mets will have more more moves coming. They will, but I don't. The fact that he didn't clarify if it's happening tonight tells me that's you know. I think he's just saying something that we all know. I don't. I don't think something's going to happen tonight. I don't, unless it's bias. I, I don't see what happens tonight. But again, I didn't expect any of these three things to happen tonight. So that that should tell you enough, right? Like it's seven eighteen right now. What would be the latest that moves go on? I mean, Stephen Matz signed at twelve thirty. Moves probably don't happen any later than two two a.m. Eastern time, right? That's that's what I would assume. Or no. Or three. Because California is three three hours behind. Hmm. This is actually a pain. That, look, if I if I have to hop on for a fourth stream tonight, then I'll do it. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drag one out just for the sake of hoping for something that you know there's no certainty if it'll happen tonight. I'll stay up, but I won't drag a stream out. Jason Smith is a radio um, uh, show fo- host for Fox. Thank you for the $5 donation, Joe. I really, really appreciate that. That's good that he's a huge Mets fan. That means that there's connections for sure. Appreciate the donation. Thank you so much for that. I have been chat for Joe for helping give me us clarity. Oh, there's Mark. I'm like, I I looked up I looked up Mark's Twitter because you guys are spamming Mark. I, I didn't realize he commented in the chat. Oh, uh, what's up, Mark? Long time no see, bro. Yeah, what a night. Oh my goodness. Just ridiculous. Um Mark, how, how Mark, on a scale of one to ten, how satisfied are you with today's moves? I know we're gonna get a video and um a pot out from you within the next day, which is dope. Spaces on Twitter is something else. Why? Is something bad happen? I don't know. But yeah, I've been in the chat for Giraffe Neck Mark. You know, I don't have to tell you guys who this guy is. You know who he is. He's the GOAT. We all love Mark here. 
for a third time the charm on this video recording. <laughs> You're smart though. I'm glad for your sake that you didn't pump it out yet. Now you can just pump out, you know, the three moves in one. And that, people are going to love that too. So, yeah, I mean, I this is third stream the charm for me, but it, we're riding. We are riding. Just what a night, dude. Absolutely insane night. Oh, hi, Mark. That made me think of the meme. That's funny. Um, Stroman and Rodan. Everyone spells Rodan's name wrong. And I don't know why. Everyone spells it like Rondon when it's Rodan. I don't know why they do that. What's up, DJ Hector? What a day indeed. I really need Baez batting fifth and uh and the defense he brings. I tend to agree with you. We all want hobby. We all we all want hobby back. Absolutely. Billy Epler is my GM. That's all I can say. Or is it Rondon? Am I getting confused? Maybe I'm the one who's been wrong. Oh, I apologize. I could be completely wrong. Carlos Rodon. I thought it was Rodon. Or is it Rondon? It's Rodon. Yes. Why am I? You guys are you guys are messing me up over here. Who do I want more? Buys or Stro? Uh, personally, I want buys more. But what makes more sense for the team potentially Stro. Um, but I, I'm I've always been a massive like I've just I've always been in love with Javi Bias. So it's a personal thing for me. The correct spelling is hundred percent Rodon. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know why I need to go on that stupid tangent, but here we are. It's okay. But now that the Mets have someone like Sterling Marte, can we just take another moment, folks, to appreciate how insane this this outfield is? On base canes, baby. When you get Marcana, who's literally like a Brandon Nimmo 2.0, a little bit older, you know, but still absolute beast. Then you get Sterling Marte, who, again, let's not forget Sterling Marte and Marcana when they were teamed up together down the stretch with the Oakland A's. Man, it just, I love the fact that they're rekindling that connection now, that, that short term connection that they had, but just on base phenoms. And this is huge, especially in the scenarios where guys do get hurt. Because you got you have now you now have guys that can pick each other up. Great, great paths to success for them. And we're getting awfully close to 500 likes, folks. So thank you all so much for the support, all the likes, all the subscriptions, all that fun stuff. Really love and appreciate you guys. Um, Mark says it's like, bro, it happens to the best of us. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'm exhausted. I here's the thing: I'm not even gonna go to bed after we're done with the live stream. We'll go on for the live stream for probably another uh 10, 15 minutes or so, folks. So if you got more open Q&A questions, by all means, go ahead. Um, I'm not going to go to bed probably until 3, to be honest with you. I'm going to prep in case bias happens and maybe prep some other things, but probably not going to go to bed until 3 because with my luck, something will happen before I go to bed. Um, and yeah, my plans tomorrow are basically ruined, but that's okay. That's okay because this is more important. This is this is why I enjoy covering the offseason because stuff gets nuts and no one expected this. Just again, what a day. Not one, not two, but three moves for our Mets. Love that so much. I just saw the news on IG uh, just back from NY and had to uh, see if you had a stream. Oh, yes, Edgar. Happy to have you in here. It sure is a realistic. Money-wise, yes. Um, Preference-wise, no. But that can all change. That can all change. That's the thing. Money talks. Question is how much, right? I'm your favorite Met of all time. Oh, thank you so much, Manny. Love and appreciate you, my man. I'm not I'm not a Met, but I'm a Met fan, and I appreciate that. Uh, do I think that Dom, Jeff, and JD get traded for pitching? That's a great question. I mean, if you're talking about guys that are controllable, that could be used in the blockbuster deal, absolutely. Um, whether they're utilized for pitching, I don't necessarily know. It would make sense, right, when you're looking at how the team needs to be dressed right now. Um, I do know that those are three guys that could benefit a team like the Guardians well, and a J-Ram would be amazing, but... Again, I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't. I don't necessarily see that happening. Um, but San Adrian Gonzalez, all uh, melty. Uh, that that's cute. Um, but again, I do think that the Mets are going to trade guys off this offseason, and I do think that those three are towards the top of the list for sure. My prayers are finally answered. I'm happy for you, Gregory. I am. Do I think the Mets could trade for Jose? I, they can, but I don't think they're going to. Um, and the reason why I say that is 
again, if we're just reiterating what Billy Upware has preached at this point, he doesn't want to give up prospect capital. If he doesn't want to give up capital, you're going to go all in off agency, right? Castellanos, you give up a first round pick. That is correct. Um, who's starting pitcher can we trade for? There's multiple they can trade for, but, and I have videos on them. If you want to trade uh, pitchers that the Mets can trade for, I literally have two different videos up. Uh, Mets starting pitching targets via trade. The first one and the second one. There's part one and two. Uh, five, ten different pitchers you can look at. So definitely check out those videos if you haven't. But there's plenty available. It's just a matter of if the Mets prioritize that route. I don't think that they will. Uh, I really think that the Mets can basically get everything done through free agency this year and keep all their assets and um, get creative with the guys that they have to use for trade. I just don't know exactly what route they will prioritize in trading a Dom Smith, a J.D. Davis. Jeff McNeil, even if he's truly a man with that position, which is looking more and more likely by the day, by the hour, really. Does Escobar replace VR? Yep, a thousand percent. Uh, I don't see VR coming back. Zach Scott is back, but as manager, 10 year, 249 million. <laughs> Melty, I appreciate the fact that you subbed just to get these, these little comments in. Um, we don't need Matt Chapman anymore. You're you're right, we don't, but I would still I would still love Chapman because that's a glove that's just nasty. Absolutely fantastic. But you're right. I don't see them going down a short term third base route now that they have Escobar, if I'm being honest. Is Canada a good outfielder? Yeah, he's solid. He can play everywhere, plays center, plays left, plays right, even has some experience at third and first base. So yeah, uh, big utility guy, huge on base guy for the Mets. Love that. Josh Hader, I don't see. I don't see Hader happening. That's a guy you'd have to give him up an arm and a leg for. So, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I would love Hader, but not going to bet on it. What's going on with Trevor Story? Uh, he's being connected to the Phillies. That's what's going on with the Mets creating a new identity like this. Who should manage this team? It, it really, you know, I can't tell you who I think is best to manage this team right now. It varies. I've always been a Joe Espada fan, though. I think he's someone that should be of, you know, uh, you know, a good pick for the Mets. And yes, I know about the Pat Regazzo report, Sam. Thank you for, thank you for that, though. Yep, that the Mets are basically willing to match anything that any other team gives for bias. That's awesome. <laughs> give me, give me that hobby. Give me that El Mago magic back, baby. That's what we all want. Simeon, if I would love, I would be all on the Simeon train if you lose bias. But Simeon wants to be a shortstop. Um, and I don't see him coming to Mets. I think that it's buys or bust right now. I really do. Luis Castillo and Jose Ramirez. Love the love the thought, Alex, but completely unrealistic right now. Completely unrealistic. I don't know how many times I got to tell you guys what the Mets GM said, bro. I feel like you guys like ignore it. Like, trust me, I would love these guys. But you let's focus on what the guys that are actually in charge for the Mets have told us right now. If that holds any truth, it's that the Mets are prioritizing free agency more than anything else. So until proven otherwise, let's just focus on free agency. Think J Ram only trade I would go with. I, I like I said, I would love J Ram, just not seeing it right now. If you want depth, keep the current uh, position players as backups. Um, yes, but you have to realize how many roster spots you have and uh, the value you have with some of those rather bench pieces that could be vital in a trade if you go down a route. So that's something that the Mets are weighing and keeping in consideration. Buys only on short term. Doubt that. Is Gosman, Stroman, and Buys realistic? I think two of those three is very realistic. Three of those three, I'm not as certain. Uh, I think it's I think it's possible. I just don't know how likely it is. Gosman's going to be an angel. I think one of Gosman or Stroman could definitely be an angel. Marte is a Met. Damn right is James. That's why you're watching the stream. What do I think of the Rangers Bruins game? Oh, it was awesome. As a Rangers fan, I loved it. So it's nice to see the Rangers actually going to Boston and win on the Thanksgiving game. It doesn't happen often. So I appreciate that. Mr. Only tweeted that last summer Cubs offered 8 168 and Bias and no. Um, I think Bias is going to get. I think Bias is going to probably get a six or seven year deal um, from what we're seeing now. I, I thought five maybe, but it feels like maybe they can land at six. I think that'd be a great sweet spot for both sides. Uh, I know Bias probably wants at least seven. Um, seven upwards of 200 million, I think is actually pretty realistic now. 
Um, but if the Mets can do less, awesome. But again, you know, they're they have to match opposing clubs, and naturally those opposing clubs are gonna continue to raise that price up. Much to trade for Chris Bra Chris Bassett. I'm 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 in favor of Chris Bassett. I think he's a guy that you could trade for and you don't have to give up an arm and a leg for because he's a rental. He only has he only has a year left on his contract. So I like that. Look at Stroh's Twitter. What's Stro say this time? Stro didn't say anything new. So not sure if you're talking about from earlier, then I get it. Um, but I've seen everything on Stroman's Twitter today. But with saying that, though, folks, we're going to go just about another five minutes into the live stream. Then we're going to cap it on tonight. You know, it's 1.30 a.m. Your boy's exhausted, and I, I'm I'm pumped. But I'm even I'm even more pumped, to be honest with you, to see what's next. You know, three moves one day. Are the Mets going to do anything within the next 24 hours? I think that there's a good likelihood, really. And F that luxury tax is right, Javier. He said it best. Um, but, you know, I think I'm going to try to get out something tomorrow content-wise, assuming breaking news doesn't happen. But I think breaking news might happen tomorrow, too. So, you know, we'll go five more minutes. So again, guys, if you guys got more comments, questions, or concerns, ask away. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe on if you have enjoyed the stream, whether you're watching this live or on replay. And just know how much I appreciate you guys. We're at right around 500 likes. Thank you so much for that, folks. Help us get a 600 now um, at some point. Always means a lot. Um, going out tower, that way in 30 minutes, we get by as I know. Clearly, when I leave the stream, good things happen, right? So, you know, just make sure you guys stay up. I'm probably staying up until three, and then I'll then I'll hit the hay if nothing happens. Um, but yeah, great night. Great night in Mets land. My goodness gracious. Um, why is this guy a big deal? Cause he's a really good player, Jerry. That's why. And I highly suggest you go back to the beginning of the live stream and watch through why exactly he's a good player, uh, that we broke down the live stream, but the stats will tell you that he's a very good player. And yes, yeah, I'm very excited about the man who just stole 47 bags in his age 32 season being New York Met. That's pretty sick. Leave the stream and we sent pies. He's old though. It's okay. You want your focus on the short term, not the long term. Seriously, can we just? Um, I don't. I don't know what you mean by that, Robert. Suzuki and no go now. I, I don't think Suzuki's like likely now. That I agree with. Um, as much as I would want him, I don't think it's likely. We have regained uh, respect on the base pass. That is a fact. I agree on that one. Making the playoffs, oh, I, as long as they continue what they're doing, absolutely. No, Robert, you can't do that. That's illegal, my man. But I get, I get it that you don't want Cano back. <laughs> Five dollar donation from Baseball Sports Talk. Thank you so much. With Marte to the Mets, the Phillies shift their attention to shortstop. Interesting story. Ryan Spader also tweeted um, after that. That is the story. I will say Ryan Spader, respectfully, is a schmuck. This is the same guy that went out of his way a half a year ago to say about all these things that happened in baseball that he knows about, how Chase Utley was basically like the biggest cheater of all time that broke his heart as a Phillies fan, that explained how the Kansas City Royals cheated in the leading up to the you know the 2015 World Series against the Mets, um, just like how the Astros did, but in a little bit of a different way. Went on this entire tangent about all the inner workings of baseball that are wrong. And illegal and then the next day he caved and said that oh you know i'm sorry for what i said none of that was true i i don't know what made him act spontaneous he wasn't lying when he said those things um but yeah i have nothing personal to ryan spader but i have very little respect for him after that fiasco um people might forget but i don't and i have screenshots so you know i'll leave it at that not denying the fact that the phillies aren't in on story i'm sure they are um but yeah I i'm not a Ryan Spader messed up, in my opinion. <laughs> and it bothers me even more, not just about the Royals situation, but about Chase Utley, because we all hate that schmuck for obvious reasons. Shout out to Ruben Tejada. Love you, buddy. Um, Wardy NYM, 
Uh, mark this down. Buys will be a New York man. I hope so, Stephen. Thank you for the five dollar donation. Hype in the chat for Stephen with the five dollar donor. Love you, my man. Appreciate that a lot. Best news ever. I agree with you, Koi. Absolutely. Any idea where this puts Mets in terms of payroll? Um, they were working with like a one eighty five mil payroll up until today. Now they're at. Hold on. I can tell you right now. Then that's going to cap off the live stream. Twenty five plus ten plus thirteen plus. Mets are right. The Mets are right around a two hundred thirty million dollar payroll right now. That's what they're at. Yep, yep, two twenty five, two thirty. Yep, that's right, right around where they are. And I expect them to be pushing three hundred this offseason. Um, either just shy or just over. I think that they're going to go around that area for sure. But you know, with saying that though, folks, I want to thank everyone so much for chiming in the live stream. You guys are the best. Um, excited to get back out and doing content soon. Um, Dream Outfield, maybe one of the best in baseball. Brandon, I feel great about it. But your boy's going to go relax now. Stay up till 3 a.m. See if any more news happens. And just know that I really appreciate you all. This was fantastic. I'm excited to get more content on the channel. Hopefully more breaking news, right? So stay tuned. Great stuff's coming, as always. And yeah, your boy's beyond excited for what is next for the New York Mets. Have a great night, folks. Love you guys so much. If you watch this live on replay, you are troopers. I'll talk to you guys hopefully very, very soon again. Let's go Mets, baby. Peace out.